Hey everyone, it's Caden from Achievement Hunter, and the next-gen consoles are on their way, so it's time to take a quick look at the launch titles in this special episode of Coming Soon. Sony's PlayStation 4 drops on November 15th for $399. Unfortunately, unless you've pre-ordered the console, you'll more than likely have to wait a few more weeks to pick one up. The PS4 will have a whopping 23 games available by launch, with one additional title available on the 19th. Without further ado, let's take a peek at Sony's offerings. Having made its way to almost every gaming device available, Angry Birds Star Wars hits the next generation. The PlayStation 4 version of the game allows for gameplay via the DualShock 4's touch strip, simulating a similar experience as the iOS and Android versions of the game. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, complete with a Sony-exclusive extra hour of content, comes to the PlayStation 4 with a noticeable graphical update. For those who did wait for this next-gen release, your patience has been rewarded. Much like Assassin's Creed 4, those who waited will be treated to an enhanced version of Battlefield 4 at launch. This version of the game will allow for up to 64 players in multiplayer matches, creating even more hectic battles. The enhanced versions continue as Call of Duty Ghosts is available at launch for the PlayStation 4. Contrast, which is also available on the PS3, PC, and 360, will be arriving on the PlayStation 4 on launch day. The best part is for PlayStation Plus owners, Contrast will be free. DC Universe Online makes its leap to the next generation on launch day for the PlayStation 4. This relaunch includes Vita Remote Play, compatibility that allows PS3 players and PS4 players to play together, and will utilize the DualShock 4's touchpad to allow for easier menu access. Flower, one of the most recognizable PS3 exclusives, makes its way to the PlayStation 4 on launch day. This comes as a bonus for those who already own the PS3 version, as on day one you'll be able to get the PlayStation 4 version free via cross-buy. All existing DLC and patches are included, with Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition being a next-gen exclusive on the PlayStation 4. Just Dance 2014 drops in the PlayStation 4 with a next-gen exclusive mode called Just Dance DJ. This mode enables the player to take control of the beats themselves. Set 30 years after the events of Killzone 3, Killzone Shadowfall releases for the PlayStation 4 on launch day. The Hellgasts are now fighting for their rights, and the Vectans are simply fighting for survival, leading to an all-new war between the two factions. As with all Killzone titles, this will be a Sony exclusive. One part Katamari Damacy, one part Crash Bandicoot, and one part God of War. The visually stunning and artistically quirky Knack, a PS4 exclusive, will be available at launch. Avengers and everyone else in the Marvel Universe assemble for the PS4 launch as LEGO Marvel Super Heroes will be available on the 15th. Sony fans have been waiting for it, and before it hits the Vita and PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4 will be getting Minecraft on day one. Need for Speed Rivals races to the PlayStation 4 on launch day with enhanced graphics and more dynamic weather and gameplay in all next-gen versions. Resogun, the spiritual successor to the Super Stardust series, will not only be a PlayStation 4 exclusive, but will also be free at launch for PlayStation Plus owners. Unfortunately, the 3D capabilities will not be available on day one, but will be patched in soon after launch. Swap them and switch them, folks, as Skylanders makes its way to the next generation, with the most recent in the series, Skylanders Swap Force, being the first to greet the new consoles. Sound Shapes, previously included in the Best of PlayStation Network Volume 1 collection, will also be ported to the PlayStation 4 at launch. Much like Flower, owners of the PS3 version of the game will be receiving a PlayStation 4 version for free. If you've watched any of the past coming soons, then this will come as no surprise. FIFA 14, Madden NFL 25, and NBA 2K14 will all see their next-gen release on day one, with NBA Live 14 being released on the 19th. All four sports titles have been reworked and designed for the next-gen consoles from the ground up, with current-gen versions being simplified ports. So those who waited will be happy to see these four titles in all their true glory. The fun of an entire pinball arcade in the palm of your hands, or at least in your living room. The pinball arcade sees an exclusive next-gen release for now on the PlayStation 4. Becoming an overnight success with PC players, console gamers will finally get Warframe exclusively for the PlayStation 4 on launch day. Warframe is also free to play, so grab your friends, make a clan, and become intergalactic space ninja. Yet another PC port finding its console-exclusive home with the PlayStation 4 at launch, War Thunder allows players to battle in a setting ranging from pre-World War II to the early Korean War. And with War Thunder also being free, the PlayStation 4 launches with a potential six free games for players to grab. With the PlayStation 4 done, it's time to talk a bit about the Xbox One. Releasing on the 22nd, the third-generation Xbox will be available for $499. But much like the PlayStation 4, if you haven't already pre-ordered yours, you'll more than likely have to wait a few weeks to pick one up. The Xbox One launches with 22 games, though as you'll see, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One share a few releases. First is Angry Birds Star Wars. The Xbox One version will also provide full Kinect 2.0 support. As mentioned before, those who waited for the next-gen versions of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag will be in for a treat as the game looks and plays far superior on the next-gen consoles. 
Complete with Connect 2.0 features, Battlefield 4 and all of its additional bells and whistles, including better graphics, will hit the Xbox One on launch day. Call of Duty Ghost joins the Xbox One launch list, once again showing that the next-gen versions of recently released games were worth waiting for. Just Dance 2014, complete with the Just Dance DJ mode, also hits the Xbox One at launch day. 155 playable characters, a huge world, all built-in bricks, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes releases on the Xbox One at launch. Need for Speed Rivals zooms into the next generation on the Xbox One as well on day one. FIFA 14, Madden NFL 25, NBA 2K14, and NBA Live all hit the Xbox One at launch, giving sports game lovers a lot to enjoy. And the last of the multi-platform games for the next generation is Skylander Swap Force. Now it's time to hit the Xbox One's exclusives. A spiritual successor to the Panzer Dragoon series, Crimson Dragon is an Xbox One exclusive. Originally said to only be playable with Kinect 2.0, it was recently revealed that the game can now also be played using the gamepad. Frank West and Chuck Green need to make room as Nick Ramos hits the Xbox One as the main protagonist of Dead Rising 3, releasing on day one. Giving players a world far larger than Dead Rising and Dead Rising 2 combined, Dead Rising 3 will have no time limit and allow for saves anywhere, unless you're playing on Nightmare Mode, which is a more true-to-form style of the game where the time limit is back and bathrooms are your save stations. Best of all, Dead Rising 3 will have no load times at all. Taking full advantage of Kinect 2.0, you'll be able to beat up your friends while getting a workout when playing Fighter Within. Featuring over 200 cars and 14 circuits at launch, Forza Motorsport 5 drops on release day for the Xbox One. While the car selection may seem light now, over the next 12 months, Turn 10 Studios and Microsoft Studios will be releasing monthly car pack DLC featuring 10 cars per pack. Killer Instinct, a reboot of the popular franchise, will be somewhat free to play, featuring Jago as a free character to play as from launch. However, purchasing the Ultra Edition for $40 nets you the original Killer Instinct, eight characters, two of which will be available after launch, and alternate costumes and accessories for each character. Arcade Mode will also launch after the final two characters of the DLC are released. Loco Cycle, still eventually coming to the Xbox 360, will be a launch title for the Xbox One. High speed driving, crazy fighting, and a uniqueness that only Twisted Pixel knows how to bring to the table, Loco Cycle is a must have for Xbox One owners. Power Star Golf brings quirky characters and beautiful backgrounds onto the course. Very similar to the Hot Shots Golf series, Power Star adds a different flair as each character has unique abilities and powers. Rise, Son of Rome, follows the story of Marius Titus throughout his career in the Roman army from his childhood to becoming a general. Not intended to be historically accurate in setting, but in fighting style and combat alone. With this in mind, Rise utilizes the controller to move Marius and the Kinect 2.0 to command your troops. Zoo Tycoon's Xbox One version will have a 15 plus hour long campaign, a free form mode, challenge mode, Kinect 2.0 based minigames, online play, and over 100 animals. And finally, Zumba Fitness World Party will be a next-gen exclusive for the Xbox One, but has also been released on older consoles as well. World Party makes full use of Kinect 2.0 and includes a world tour mode that unlocks music and dance styles from around the world. That takes care of your next-gen launch information. Let the new generation of gaming begin!